Hi, it's Ahaji from AhajiAmos.com. Um, I am here with my video of the week, and today we are going to learn about something that's in the headlines. I woke up this morning to find that Cardi B had actually filed a trademark applications for her trademark sound, which is that, that R roll, which I can't do. I'm not going to try it. She spells it O-K-U-R-R -R or O-K-U-R-R-R. So I was really I was really excited about this because I tell my clients all the time that you can actually file for a trademark on a sound, but it's really rare that people actually do it. You can file a trademark application on on almost anything as long as whatever that thing is designates the source of goods for the consuming public. Um, Harley Davidson has a trademark on the sound of the Harley Davidson um, T-Mobile has a trademark on the smell of the store. Um, Tiffany has a trademark on um, the Tiffany blue color. So trademarks go beyond logos and product names and, and, and company names. You can, you can really trademark anything. So I thought it was really exciting and it was a good opportunity for me to teach the clients about, about sound marks. There are a lot of people who have trademark sounds and they're in entertainment. And uh, it'd, be, it'd be really wonderful if more people would take advantage of the opportunities to to actually protect those unique sounds that they make because you know when we hear um, that 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 rolling of the R um, we do think about Cardi B that's just a fact so so it, it's being used as a trademark so it's, it's it was really exciting I thought that that she um, had finally gotten around to doing it. I was actually surprised that she hadn't already done it um, but then I looked up the trademarks and I found something really interesting she has filed um, through her company the name of her company is Wash Poppin Inc She's filed for several trademark applications, about a dozen, for various things. Um, OKURR, OKURRR, um, Wash Poppin, Bocktail, Barty, uh, Cardi B, uh, and, and, and a few others that um, are not as well known. But what I found interesting was the trademarks that she has for her trademark sounds don't actually protect the sound. So she, there, there are several um, trademark applications that are currently pending for OKURR and OKURRR. Um, she filed in two categories. So a lot of people also don't know that trademarks don't give you the right to stop people from using a word or a sound or a color or a logo. Uh, it stops. It, it gives you the ability to stop others from using those trademarks with in relation to this the, a similar class of goods. The standard for trademark infringement is likelihood to confuse. So there has to be a likelihood of confusion. And if you can think of a logo being used for financial services firm and then a logo being used for um, faucets, there's probably no likelihood of confusion. So those logos can both be used at the same time and, and all is good. But when I, again, when I looked at the trademark, she filed for word marks in two classes for paper goods um, and I'm thinking that she's probably using those for uh, merchandise during her touring, posters, things like that, and for t-shirts and other types of apparel. So you know, again, it's probably merch for, from her, um, from her, from her concerts, or you know, fans who want to walk around um, wearing the um, that that term on their shirts. But she did not file a trademark application for her signature sound, and I think that's probably a mistake. So she uses the sound on her music, she uses it during videos, she uses it on commercials. It really is synonymous with her. When you hear the sound, you do think about her. Um, if I were advising her, I would probably advise her that she should seek a trademark for the sound itself, not the written version of the sound, the actual sound, the sound by it. Um, it's very different from filing a word mark. So you actually have to send in a clip a sound recording of the sound and then the classification of goods that she would be covered for is entertainment because she uses the sound for entertainment, um, for recordings, for um, promotion. So she has a valid right to it. What I then found was interesting. Um, I do think that, that that's probably a mistake that should be corrected. She definitely should own the sound. But what I found is that there's another company who has filed for a registration for her trademark sound as a sound. So I'll put a link to it um, in this video. If you look at US trademark application 8806436, 
you'll see that a company called Bella Vitae, um, registered in Delaware but located in Nashville, has filed for the sound that she makes. The filing was made last year on July 31st, 2018. And if I were Cardi B, I would put a stop to that. I would definitely file a letter of protest and be ready to file uh, a notice of opposition if this trademark is allowed. Right now, it's not allowed. Right now, um, they're saying that the, the, the trademark examiner at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office is saying that that, that that sound can't be protected right now because it's it's a sound that just means okay. <laughs> they actually cited the Urban Dictionary, which I thought was really funny. Um, but I think that I think the the rejection can be overcome. Um, but since they filed in July, um, I really do think that Cardi B probably has some pretty good proof that she was using it before then. Trademarks are or trademark rights are based on use, and the first to use continuously in a trademark uh, manner across state lines and interstate commerce has a, a, a right to secure the trademark. So if I were her trademark attorney, I would file a letter of protest and I would go ahead and file an application on the sound itself and not the, the, the word. Um, the word is fine. Um, some people are going to definitely buy t-shirts and jackets and all kinds of random things with OKURR or OKURRR on it, but the real money is in the sound that she makes in the Pepsi commercials, in her music, when she's doing interviews, when she's on YouTube. Um, she really needs to have that sound protected and she needs to get to it because there is this other company out there that has made an attempt to, 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 to secure that sound for themselves. So she needs to both stop them and then proceed with her own um, application for a trademark on the sound. So again, um, my law firm uh, handles all types of intellectual property, trademarks, oppositions, sorry about that, cancellations, um, any intellectual property need can be met by our law firm. Uh, I'll put a link to our website um, in this in this posting. It is ahajiamos.com. That's A-H-A-J-I-A-M-O-S.com. You can schedule a free consultation. And if Cardi B needs help, she can definitely reach out to me and I will um, help her protect the sound itself and not the word. All right. Have a great day. Bye.